magician, a member of NAMU, the North American Magicians Union. Uh, as such, uh, union bylaws dictate I have to start each show with a fresh deck of cards. Uh, if I don't do that, there's a guy in a sequin jumpsuit who's going to be really pissed off. <laughs> so just bear with me here one second. My nails are not as sharp as they should be. There we go. Uh, this is the part of the show where I like to tell everyone that uh, I'm currently living at the YMCA at Irving and <laughs> So if anyone has an uh, extra bed or a spare room or any place I could crash tonight, I would appreciate it. <laughs> this is a lot faster in rehearsal. There we go. Alright, just gonna get rid of the jokers here. Hold on a second. There's a souvenir for you, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> one in there. Hold on a second. Uh, where the fuck is that? There it is. There we go. And one uh, for the lady in the back. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, this first uh, demonstration that I'm going to do for you tonight is, uh, is uh, something that the academics call uh, Henning's Phenomenon, also known as the Copperfield Effect. Uh, it's uh, something that's a, uh, it's a phenomenon that says that uh, magicians are able to uh, give themselves uh, superhuman sensory power. So if you don't mind for a second, I'm going to go into a slight trance, and I'm going to bring myself, bring my senses into a heightened sense of arousal. Just bear with me for one second. <laughs> Yeah, and there I am, uh, <laughs> uh, I see more clearly, I hear more acutely, I taste, I touch, but most importantly, I smell with greater accuracy than the average human. Uh, at this point in the show, I'd like to ask for a volunteer. Can I get someone from the front uh, here? Uh, young lady, do you mind if I impose on you for just a second? Yeah. Um, yeah. Sophia, I'm Jamie. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to ask you to take a look at these cards. Uh, do they seem like a regular deck of cards to you? Yeah. Okay, and uh, <laughs> do they smell like a regular deck of cards? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just going <laughs> to... Now, the, the, the Henning, uh, the Henning uh, phenomenon dictates that if a, a, uh, a magician handles cards long enough, he can actually smell the different cards. <laughs> I'll demonstrate. <laughs> I can tell right now that this card smells like the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> now, just to show, just to prove that I didn't, uh, that I, there's no chicanery here, I'm going to ask you now to. Uh, oh, sorry, tell me your name again. Sophia. And uh, Sophia, uh, uh, take a look at those cards and tell me, do you find me physically attractive? <laughs> Uh, now, do me a favor, uh, show the card to the audience there, show it to the ape, show it to my fellow contestants. And now, once you've done that, if you could some way mark the card with your scent. This could be a competition. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if you can just put the card right back there on top. Yeah, just, uh, stretch your hands out in front for me. Just stretch your hands right out in front. Both of them, please. Both of them, please. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now, is this your card? I didn't think it was. All right, uh, here we go. I'm going to go into another hyperconnect state. Haptaya het! Thank you. 
I'm gonna make what's known as a bindle. Are there any hobos in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> You can ride the rails later, sir. I'm gonna take my little hobo sack and I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, let me call this thing. I'm gonna drop your ring in there and if you could just uh, give my sack a little tug. Once again, I will say my magic words. Up tie a hip. Up to your head! And I think if you tug on my sack, there'll be a little surprise. <laughs>